All of you, welcome back once again. In this video, we'll try to break down that which blockchain is better for you if you're learning blockchain development or if you're going with the investment point of view. So that's all we're going to talk about it because right now we have more than 45 plus of blockchain. Which one you have to pick as a blockchain developer? So we're going to talk about both as an investment point of view as well as for the development point of view. So first, let's talk about the development point of view and that will answer most of your questions. So right now you can see that here I'm on DeFi Lama and there you will find the complete graph and the investment we have in each one of this blockchain. So first one we have is Ethereum, which hold the maximum investment of 53% of the total investment we have on Ethereum. Then we have Solana, Bitcoin, Torn, Binance, Arbitrum, Hyperledger, and others holds 12%. But if you look at this graph closer, it turns of things are happening. And if you go back a little one year, two year, this number was different. Right now, you will find that Ethereum hold 53%, but if you go back in, 2000, in 2022, it was holding close to 75 to 80% of the mark. But right now, it's dropped to 53, but still hold most of the money. After that, we have the Solana, then we have Binance. So if you are a developer, if you're an absolute beginner developer, you can easily be able to identify that which one you have to focus. Like right now, you will get a lot of advice from different, different YouTubers, different developers that you have to focus where you have less crowd. But that's not my advice if you're an absolute beginner. Like you can definitely take that particular approach. There is no problem in that, that you can go to like Solana or you can go to Hyperledger, you can go to the base or Binance. You can go, there is no problem in that. For development point of view, what will happen when you will go to Solana? There you will find less community. Right now you will find that tons of tutorials are coming on. Even I published close to 20 projects on our channel where we talk about how you can build NFT marketplace, how you can build NFT creator, how you can build token creator. And we have a multiple projects. So you can check all of this project which we have on the channel. So the one thing I want to highlight before you pick a specific blockchain and start learning about it that you have to focus that where you will find most of the support because when it's come to a technology like all the technology all of this chain has the similar architecture similar layer like there is a difference in the layer different in the performance and different in the programming language write the contract to build the application on top of it that's my point of view this is what i believe that if i have to learn blockchain development right now so this should be my approach and after that i'm going to take the switch and follow a different strategy but if I'm absolute beginner, then I'm going to definitely follow Ethereum. There you will find most of the community. There you will find most of the contracts. So any type of contract which you want to find it, any type of business logic which you want to find it, you will find the contract which can have a look and understand. But when it's come to Solana, you don't find that particular ecosystem. Like you have to write every single thing. There is few libraries. Right now the libraries is growing, but still you will not find that community who will help you to understand the code, to build a certain program. So if you're absolutely beginner, I would highly encourage you to go with Ethereum. Just give two months, two to three months. Once you master Ethereum, it would be very easy for you to take a switch to any particular blockchain. It would be very easy for you. So I would never encourage you to learn the thing which is absolutely new. And if you are a new developer, if you're an absolute new developer, you have no understanding about blockchain and you're coming from Web2, then I would highly encourage you to go with Ethereum. Just give one month, give 20 days. After that, you gain the understanding. After that, you can pick any particular framework, any particular blockchain. There is no problem in that. So this should be your strategy. You have to go with the familiarity. After that, you can take the switch. You can't go straight away to the different technology and you will find yourself lost. You won't find anyone who can help you because you need help. You need community. You can't do every single thing alone. If you want to do every single thing alone, you need to have an understanding of that level. So I hope you have got my point that what you have to do, like if you want to become blockchain developer, first start with Ethereum, right? Salty, learn about Salty programming language, learn about Go, because these are the two programming language we have at the moment, which can, which we can use to write the smart contract, which can execute on the EVM compatible chain. So look at the data, which is available in the public space. Look at the contract, try to understand the industry that what exactly happening, what kind of project is coming into the, into the blockchain. So if you talk about Solana there, you will find games, there you will find meme coins. So tons of different type of projects which comes on the Solana ecosystem. But when you come to uh, actual money, money, you will find the Ethereum price at the super high and Ethereum has been in the industry for quite long. So there is tons of community, tons of support you will find. So the my, the my main motive of making this video to give you this idea that understand the industry, check your capability that how much understanding, how much capability you have, which you can able to learn the technology and then you can able to make the switch. Okay, right now you can easily be able to learn the things very easily. Right now you will have this AI assistant which help you and guide you. But you have to have the basic understanding. If you be good in a particular programming language, you understand that code, then it would be very easy for you to take the switch and go back to a different technology to go back to a different programming language. So that would be my suggestion for all of you guys. So 
try to focus on Ethereum, learn the required technology which I have mentioned in this particular video in the complete roadmap. After that, you can take the switch and just go ahead. So that's the only thing for mine. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.